Welcome back. All right, picture this. You pay a Chicago-based company $5,000 to move you to Louisiana, but they show up without most of your stuff. We hear a lot of stories like this, and now that family in Louisiana says the movers are ghosting them. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas digs into the do's and don'ts of hiring movers. I have been so stressed and so aggravated. Lori Guidry's new home isn't quite home just yet. She's still missing her coffee table, her painting, her TV, and that's not all. They've got my baby pictures, 40 years worth of our life photos, my handicap equipment, all of my walkers. Guidry says her son-in-law signed a contract for a Chicago-based interstate moving company to move her stuff from North Carolina to Louisiana. The movers picked it all up, but when they arrived in the Bayou State, they only had some of her belongings. She says the movers had already pressured her family into paying thousands of dollars, and now... He's quit calling me. He's quit answering me again. Uh, it's just been lie after lie after lie after lie. Sadly, this is the type of thing that happens every day. Patricia McLaughlin is a consultant for the Illinois Movers and Warehousemen's Association. She says you should always hire local. One of the things that concerned me about this particular move that you're talking about is someone, you know, in North Carolina hired somebody in Chicago to do a move to Louisiana. You don't do that. The company called themselves IES Holdings on the contract. We looked them up with the U.S. Department of Transportation and found they're currently not authorized to do any interstate moves. At this point, would it even be legal for them to move that stuff to her in Louisiana? No, because they're out of service. This is Tim McNicholas calling. We left voicemails for the movers at two different phone numbers asking about Guidry's belongings. Guidry says her family wound up with IES through a moving broker. Another method McLaughlin advises against. People need to do more homework. You know, we're not buying shoes on Amazon here. This is, you're giving everything you own to somebody and trusting that they're going to give it back to you. What would your message be to these movers if they watch this? Give me my stuff. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. We are still waiting to hear back from those movers. McLaughlin says it's also a red flag when movers ask for really big bucks up front or when they try to charge you by cubic footage rather than by weight. For more stories like this one, you can download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.